Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monday Night Raw. We are live, and we are going to be kicking off tonight with some tag team action. As the Usos are going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the Authors of Pain. And the Usos, with John Cena at their side, they are going to be challenging Evolution for the World Tag Team Championships this Sunday at Armageddon. And Armageddon is just six days away, ladies and gentlemen. And we are preparing for what is set to be an amazing show. All of the Raw superstars will be there. And the crowd will be on their feet here tonight and at Armageddon. And tonight I will be revealing the match card. I will be revealing the match card for Armageddon here tonight. Later tonight. And we have a lot in store for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Tony Nese is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with Mark Andrews, who has been definitely getting his name out there. Almost put down Alistair Black last week and nearly got the win against the Tommaso Ciampa two weeks ago. But right now, but right now we're going to be moving to the Usos, taking on the AOP with Seth Rollins at their side. The Monday Night Messiah is definitely one to look out for. And also we will see Shinsuke Nakamura make his Raw return as he is going to have a warm-up match against Zack Ryder in the warm-up to his match against Matt Riddle at Armageddon. And also in our main event, the best kept secret, Buddy Murphy. He will be going one-on-one -on -one with the one and only Ricochet. Seth Rollins, Ricochet, and Aleister Black are going to be meeting in the main event for the WWE Championship in a tables, ladders, and chairs match at Armageddon. But Seth Rollins, he has some problems of his own right now. He's going to have to be at the Authors of Pain side here tonight if that means he's going to get some more opportunities to be even bigger than he already is. I mean, Seth Rollins is a former, he's a Grand Slam champion. Seth Rollins started the Universe Road Series with the Intercontinental Championship. Lost that title to Tommaso Ciampa all the way back at Extreme Rules in Season 1. And the Authors of Pain, they're also, I guess you could say they're former Raw Tag Team Champions, but that was very short-lived. And here we go. It looks like, it looks like Razor and, oh, Razor and Jimmy Uso are going to start out this match. And Jimmy Uso, oh. Razar just standing on the on the back of oh man dropping Jimmy Uso down to his back. You can see John Cena there in the bottom left at the top left of your screen, and John Cena he's been leading the Usos to getting their championship opportunity. And Triple H and Evolution they have not been happy at all with what the Usos and John Cena have been doing. Look at this, Razar dropping him for a backbreaker. And like I said, they have not been happy about the attacks that they've procured on Evolution. So in retaliation, in retaliation, Evolution announced that the Usos will be taking on uh, Evolution for the World Tag Team Championships at Armageddon come this Sunday. But also, ladies and gentlemen, right after Armageddon will be the Royal Rumble. And that is gonna be consisting of 30 men willing to walk away to main event Wrestlemania but I would rather worry about the Armageddon at this point I mean we already have a few matches confirmed but I will be confirming the oh Jimmy Uso look at that just using that Coco headbutt look at this now oh jumps right over him oh and a huge crossbody knocking Razor down to his back or Akim Akim rather round down to his back Oh, good lord. We also know that Shayna Baszler will be challenging Rhea Ripley for the Raw Women's Championship at Armageddon as Rhea Ripley won that fatal four-way match last week. And huge double super kick from the Usos, dropping Akum. And now Jay Uso, he's gonna be going into this match. Huge sliding forearm, knocking Akum down to his back. And as you can see Seth Rollins there on the bottom right. I mean, Seth Rollins, he was using the... He was using the Authors of Pain to, oh, to further himself 
but now it's almost like they're his it's almost like Seth Rollins has his own body squad I mean oh Jesus huge headbutt delivered there and like I said Akam and Razor they're both former Raw Tag Team Champions but that was very short lived as they were stripped of the titles because they attacked the men who were supposed to be challenging for the championships on that night and even though they defeated Kurt Hawkins and Zack Ryder they were not supposed to be in that match so they were stripped of the titles only 24 hours later so you know the Agam and Razor they have been wanting to get a Raw Tag Team Championship match for a very long time because the last time they tasted that championship goal was at SummerSlam all the way back in season two but now look at this as Akam or Razor rather rather pulling Jey Uso up to his feet and oh look at that it looked like Akam tried to go after him and Jey Uso with a huge bite and Razor dropping Jey Uso right down to onto his head with a German suplex the authors of pain using all of their advantage as he drops him down with a knee directly to the head and now Razor and Jey Uso in the middle of the ring. I mean, we have a lot more in store for you tonight, ladies and gentlemen. So just stay, stay queer if you're. Oh, look at this now. Just Jey Uso is trying to get that tag, but it seems like, it seems like Jey Uso is just. It seems almost like he's disoriented. Like he can't get the, he can't get the tag in. I mean, Razor is just walking around, just acting like nothing's wrong. I mean. I would act like there's nothing wrong too, but oh, Jesus, huge Sayedo suplex, dropping Razor right on his head, and now the referee's gonna begin the count, and look at this now, trying to go for a Samoan drop, but Razor just used that elbow, oh, and Jimmy Us or Jey Uso comes right back at it with another one, and look at this now, Jey Uso's gonna fly, Jey Uso's gonna fly, and taking out Razor in the process, and here comes Jey Uso, he's getting us back into this match. And John Cena, he is he is feeling it. John Cena, he is all for it. And now the Usos with a tag in. And look at this for another double super kick. May have knocked the teeth out of Razor there. And now Jimmy Uso, he's coming back in. He's getting, oh, oh, wait a minute. No, catches the leg. He caught the leg. And now Jimmy Uso attacking the other legs of Razor. And now, look at this, Uso, no. Uso just gets sent right over the, sent right over his head, just sent to the outside, and now looks like, oh, whoa, look at that, Jimmy Uso just grabbing the leg of Razor, but oh, oh, look at that, Jimmy Uso going to the top rope, Jimmy Uso, top rope, drops him down for a shoulder tackle, Razor lands right on his back, and now Jimmy Uso, he's got Razor right where he wants him, comes in with a flying forearm. And Jimmy Uso now, he's got Razor right where he wants him. Super kick to the gut and a huge uppercut. That rhymed and I didn't even mean it to. But now Jimmy Uso, he's gonna feel, oh! Gonna give Razor a piece of what they've been trying to give him, oh! Uso's with a huge Coco headbutt. And Jimmy Uso, look at this, grabbing the arm! And Razor comes in with a huge forearm. Oh wait a minute, Jimmy Uso throws away the leg! and comes in with a flying forearm. He just goes right down, and look at this, and there's a tag in to Jey Uso. But wait a minute, what is this? Oh, it looks like he's trying to get for the tag. It looks like Jey Uso's just preparing. I mean, it seems like both of these men can't really, it seems like they're both disoriented. They have been going at each other since the beginning of the match. And look at this now, Razor throwing him right into the corner. There's the tag, there's a the tag in. And look at this now, they're just gonna keep delivering those alternating knees directly to the sternum and power him right up drops him down drops him down onto their knees huge double team maneuver oh and a headbutt delivered and a huge headbutt delivered to Jey Uso as Akum he's got the one up on him and there he goes to the outside Jey Uso is just watching on the outside and the referee is going to begin the count and Akum is just watching in the middle of the ring. Oh, wait a minute now. Look at this, he's just grabbing Jimmy Uso. He's got Jimmy Uso, oh! Just, swi just swiping him down in the middle of the ring. And look at this now, Seth Rollins, he's just watching. 
Jay Uso get back up to his feet. Seth Rollins not out of the way. Hand. Wait a minute. What the hell? That's Samoa Joe. Oh, Samoa Joe attacking John Cena. Samoa Joe wanted to get his revenge, and it looks like he's going to. The Usos have no idea what's going on. Samoa Joe going after John Cena. Samoa Joe, he's attacking John Cena here in the WWE Universe. And look at this now, Akam and Razor have Jimmy drops him down. Jey Uso gets taken down for our last chapter. And now, referee in the position to the Authors of Pain pick up the win. The Authors of Pain pick up the win. And now, look at this. John Cena and Samoa Joe, they're still fighting in the middle. Of, they're still fighting in the middle of the crowd. I mean, the Usos have no idea what's going on. But Samoa Joe's going to get revenge on John Cena. For, oh, for his attack on Triple H a couple of weeks ago. Oh, face first goes John Cena. And now Samoa Joe, look at this. Wrenching in the Coquina clutch on John Cena. John Cena, he's stuck in the Coquina clutch in the middle of the crowd. Samoa Joe is just choking out John Cena. John Cena has nowhere to go. Jesus Lord, he's not gonna let go. And there's, you can see what Triple H was saying. He's trying to give John Cena a taste of his own medicine, but there's Tommaso Ciampa walking around Look at this, he's got a Chris Jericho shirt on. I, oh, wait a minute, what the hell? That's Cesaro. Cesaro and Oni Lorcan backstage. What the hell? Cesaro and Oni Lorcan fighting backstage. And, oh, Cesaro. Oh, man. Cesaro just attacking Oni. Cesaro and Oni Lorcan, they've been, they've been at each other's throats for weeks over the 24-7 championship. And Roderick Strong, he currently holds the 24-7 championship. But Oni Lorcan and Cesaro have been trying to hurt each other for weeks. Oni Lorcan cost Cesaro and Andrade their match last week. Oni Lorcan delivering a half and half suplex to Cesaro. But oh, look at that, Cesaro throwing Oni Lorcan down to his back. And Cesaro, huge elbow to the head. Cesaro and Oni Lorcan. They do not like each other. And Cesaro. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Cesaro with the neutralizer. Oh, look at that briefcase. Cesaro getting some revenge on Oni Lorcan. Cesaro just dropped him onto that briefcase. Well, ladies and gentlemen, moving on from that, we're going to be moving on to some one on one cruiserweight action as Tony Nice is going to be taking on. One of Raw's hottest commodities, Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews. He. Well, I'm going to be talking over this guy because we hear him say the exact same thing every single time. But like I said, Mark Andrews, he he debuted against Tommaso Ciampa a couple of weeks ago, and he was almost able to knock off Tommaso Ciampa. Almost got the pinfall over him. And then last week, he challenged the WWE Champion Aleister Black. And just like Tommaso Ciampa, he had a valiant effort. He was very close on defeating Aleister Black. But in the end, Mark Andrews was not able to prevail. So this is, I guess they could say third time's a charm. As he's going to be taking on Tony Nese. And the last time we saw Tony Nese in action, he was taking on Chris Jericho in his return three weeks ago. So Mark Andrews... He's got a little bit of a uh, he's got a little bit of an edge over Tony Nese at this moment. As Tony Nese, he's one of those superstars that I would say has been dealt the wrong hand. I mean, as soon as he debuted, he was already in the Intercontinental Championship tournament all the way back in season two. But now, and he was stuck with the Miz Network ever since then. So now Tony Nese, he's been released from his Miz Network contract, and he's been getting himself back onto the notice. He was not prepared for Chris Jericho, however. And here we go, Mark Andrews, here he is. Mark Andrews, he says it's time to fly, and Mark Andrews, he's going to be taking on Tony Nese right now. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, this is not going to be the final Cruiserweight match of the night. We're going to be seeing... Ricochet take on Buddy Murphy later, and there's AJ Styles looking at just watching the match backstage. 
just looking for another reason to challenge Mark Andrews. I mean, last week after Mark Andrews was not able to pick him off, AJ Styles pretty much said it would be nice if you were able to actually pick up a win for once. And, I mean, I guess you could say that as well. So Mark Andrews, he's got a lot more on his plate at the moment. But, like I said, Mark Andrews, I think he's got a lot of potential. I think he's got a lot of opportunities ahead of him. I mean, the Royal Rumble is just, is just a month away. So, you got to be looking out for some of the stars who are not going to be champions who are, or who are not going to be, you know, fe featured in matches besides the Royal Rumble. I mean, 30 men have the opportunity to, to main event WrestleMania. Every, every superstar's dream. And here we go. It looks like we're going to start out with some power and elbow tie up here. Mark Andrews already getting him into a headlock. See, Mark Andrews and Tony Nese, they're both heavily aware of how the cruiserweight matches work. Full of full of back and forth combat, full of oh, full of holds and a lot of uh, flying. Look at that. Mark Andrews tried to go for Enziguri. Tony Nese <laughs> Tony Nese basically moved out of the way and it didn't work. Mark Andrews through the ropes, drops him with a DDT. Good lord, Mark Andrews, he's definitely on his game here tonight. And look at this now. Mark Andrews with an octopus stretch. With the octopus stretch on the outside. Oh, wait a minute. Tony Nice. Look at this. Oh, drop toe hold. Dropping Mark Andrews down on down on the outside. And Tony Nice comes in with a huge cross body. And there's the referee counting. He's at a count of four at this moment. And Mark Andrews, he was on the offense. He was... He was coming out of the gate like a house of fire, but Tony, oh, look at this now. Tony Nice kick to the gut, and look at this now. Tony Nice powering him up. Huge pump handle into an X-Factor. Good Lord, Tony Nice, one of the, there's a reason why we called him the extraordinary athlete. And look at this now. Tony Nice. he's got Mark Andrews, lifts him up, drops him down across the ropes. And Tony Nice. Tony Nice. we... Oh, wait a minute. The premier athlete. Oh, the premier athlete. He was getting whack onto it. Mark Andrews through. And look at this. Throws his legs right on top. And look at that. Throws him away with a Hurricane Rana. See, if you didn't believe Mark Andrews before, he's definitely going to show you now. And here comes Mark Andrews with a slap to the face. And Mark Andrews throwing Tony Nese into the corner. Mark Andrews got that double knees up. And now he's got the offense as Tony Nese now. He's going to be taken away. Thrown with Irish Whip. But, whoa, Tony Nese able to stop it. And Tony Nese, look at that, dropped with an Enziguri. He just gets dropped with an Enziguri. And now Mark Andrews, he's back on his game. But Tony Nese with a kick to the inside. And Mark Andrews tried to throw a right hand. Drops him on the knee. Tony Nese right off the ropes with a kick to the head. And a huge beauty shot from Tony Nese. Tony Nice and Mark Andrews, two supreme athletes that have have so much potential to be a lot more. And now Mark Andrews, he's trying to get back up. He's trying to get. Oh, this is not a good position. As Tony Nice comes in with a drop kick. And wait a minute, Mark Andrews just kips right up, kips right up off the head spring and into an Enziguri, dropping him straight down. Oh, and Mark Andrews with a chop. Mark Andrews throwing Tony Nese right off of the ropes. And whoa, what in the hell? Look at this. Throws him over with an arm drag. Mark Andrews gets him right back up. Huge chop. Oh, and a right hand. Mark Andrews now. Look at this. Mark Andrews coming off with a huge cross body. Huge cross body knocking Tony Nese down. And now Tony Nese, he's up on his feet. Mark Andrews rolls through with a huge foot stomp. Huge foot stomp knocking Tony Nese off. And now Mark Andrews. He's got a lot more, oh, on tap. But Tony Nese now, oh, huge super kick, knocking Mark Andrews out. And now Tony Nese pulls him up, but drops him for a drop kick. Tony Nese and Mark Andrews both about hard hitting shots. And they're both not gonna stop until one of them gets the one, two, three. And now Mark Andrews, he's gonna get up to his feet. And Tony Nese now, look at this, just mocking Mark Andrews about him flying. And look at this now, Mark Andrews, Oh, what the hell, Jesus! Mark Andrews try to go for a Hurricane Rana. Tony Nice drops him, catches him, and then drops him for a power bomb. 
And look at this now, Tony Nese into the pump handle. But Mark Andrews rolls across. Rolls right onto his feet. Tony Nese doesn't notice. And look at this now, rolls him into it. Mark Andrews, Stun Dog Millionaire! Stun Dog Millionaire from Mark Andrews. And now Mark Andrews, he's gonna go to the top rope. Mark Andrews, Stun Dog Millionaire! Into the Shooting Star Press. Mark Andrews could have the win here. Two. Mark Andrews picks up the win. Mark Andrews defeats Tony Nese. And Mark Andrews has finally procured his first victory here in WWE on Monday Night Raw. And Mark Andrews cementing himself even further. Mark Andrews has picked up the win. And he is even more on that wave of momentum. Well, you heard it from Matt Riddle himself. Matt Riddle has proclaimed he is going to be walking out of Tampa, Florida from Armageddon, the true king, the true king of bros. It's going to be the king of bros versus the king of strong style at Armageddon. But right now, Shinsuke Nakamura is going to get a little bit of a warm-up. He's going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the Long Island IZ Zack Ryder. And now... Shinsuke Nakamura, we saw that he challenged Matt Riddle to a match at Armageddon two weeks ago after Matt Riddle made his debut and defeated the returning Christian. But now Shinsuke Nakamura, he has a one hell of a match ahead of him come this Sunday. I mean, you saw Shinsuke Nakamura, he made a proclamation last week that he's not going to hold back with any of his hits. And Matt Riddle says, I'm going to come back twice as hard. I'm going to come back even harder and hit you twice as hard. I mean, both of those men are known as hard hitters. Both of them are known as brawlers. I mean, Shin Shinsuke with his Kinshasa, Matt Riddle with his... I mean, Matt Riddle with his roundhouses, his knees. Like, both of these men, they're known for their strong style. They're known for taking hard hits. I mean, Shinsuke is the king of strong style. Matt Riddle was a former UFC fighter they have all they have all had attacks in the past they have had some hits so Shinsuke Nakamura he's got one hell of a match ahead of him come this Sunday but he's gonna be taking over a little bit of a uh, he's gonna be taking on Zack Ryder here former Raw Tag Team Champion Zack Ryder and here we go Shinsuke Nakamura already out of the gate coming in with a flying leg kick huge flying kick Knocking shit, knocking Zack Ryder down to his back. And Shinsuke Nakamura coming back with a huge flurry of strikes. And Shinsuke Nakamura, look at this, just pushing that leg directly into the chin of Zack Ryder. Oh! And Shinsuke Nakamura now, oh! Huge knee just stops him right into the corner. Shinsuke Nakamura now, he's got Zack Ryder. Look at this, lifts him up into a Samoan driver. See, like I said, Shinsuke Nakamura's got a lot of pent-up aggression. And after seeing what Matt Riddle had to say, Shinsuke, he's not... Oh! I mean, he said he's not going to hold back against Matt Riddle. And I guess he's not going to do that for Zack Ryder either. I mean, just look at the punishment he's giving Zack Ryder. As Shinsuke drops the knee, Zack Ryder, he could be put away here. Shinsuke Nakamura, but no. Shinsuke Nakamura, 
he's not going to put away Zack Ryder that fast. I mean, Shinsuke is definitely on the offense at this current moment. Oh, Zack Ryder catches the leg, and Zack Ryder comes in with a huge flying clothesline. Zack Ryder. Oh, wait a minute. Zack Ryder! Corkscrew! Crossbody! I don't think he got enough of it, but it was definitely enough to knock down the King of Strong Style. And Shinsuke Nakamura. Look at this. Zack Ryder comes in for a flying clothesline. Zack Ryder just goes face first onto the barricade. And now Shinsuke Nakamura powering Zack Ryder up. And wait a minute, Shinsuke Nakamura with a power slam against the barricade. And the referee at a count of four. Shinsuke Nakamura just throwing Zack Ryder against the barricade with a power slam. And the referee at a count of six, Shinsuke Nakamura not even hesitating. He's, you know, he's not hesitating. He's just taking his time. Just wants to give Zack Ryder all that he's got. But he's just, oh. You just hear the crowd, they're on Zack Ryder's side here. I mean, Shinsuke Nakamura has never been the, he's never been the most liked individual here in professional wrestling. But look at this now, Zack Ryder throwing Shinsuke Nakamura off, Shinsuke counters, and Zack Ryder gets the knees up. And now Zack Ryder, look at this, comes in with a missile drop kick. And now Shinsuke Nakamura, he gives scrambles into the corner, Zack Ryder with a huge flying forearm. And now look at this, Zack Ryder lining up Shinsuke. The Broski boot. The Broski boot delivered from Zack Ryder. And now it looks like Zack Ryder's gonna put the exclamation point on this match. Zack Ryder, top rope. Zack Ryder, no! Try to go for the 450 splash, but Shinsuke Nakamura comes back with the Kinshasa. Kinshasa to Zack Ryder. And Shinsuke Nakamura picks up the win. Shinsuke Nakamura defeats Zack Ryder in a huge effort and just has so much potential. Now we are even more hyped for that match that is set to happen at Armageddon against Matt Riddle. And Shinsuke Nakamura is definitely amped up. You'll stand your ground, bud! Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the official match card for Armageddon. And the first match we would like to announce, Cesaro will be taking on Oni Lorcan. Ever since their 24-7 championship encounter, they have been going at each other's throats for weeks. And now they will finally get a match, get their hands on each other, and kick some ass in the process. And they also just announced, AJ Styles will be taking on Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews, he's been... You know, Mark Andrews has been on top of his game for a while. And AJ Styles said, hey, I'm going to give you even more of a challenge. Face me at Armageddon. And this match, I'm so happy for the King of Strong Styles, Shinsuke Nakamura. Goes one-on-one -on -one with the King of Bros, Matt Riddle. In what is set to be a hard-hitting and competitive matchup to kick off Armageddon. And this match, we have said for weeks, Samoa Joe and Pete Dunne will be going one-on-one -on -one with the Usos for the World Tag Team Championships. Ever since their attack on Evolution, they have been trying to get some revenge. And this one just announced as well, Tommaso Ciampa will be defending his Intercontinental Championship against the Judas, Chris Jericho, in a match that is set to be one of the biggest in history as Chris Jericho goes for his 10th Intercontinental Championship. And this match just confirmed last week, Dolph Ziggler will go one-on-one -on -one with Andrade Cien Almas for the United Kingdom Championship. Dolph Ziggler, ever since signing with the Miz Network, he has had so much opportunity, and now he's getting it to face United Kingdom Champion Andrade. And Shayna Baszler will be defending her Raw Women's Championship against Rhea Ripley in what is set to be one of a dream match that we could only hope will be as good as it sounds and this match ladies and gentlemen is gonna be the main event of the evening seth rollins ricochet and the wwe champion alistair black will compete in a tables ladders and chairs match for the wwe championship so much has led to this moment and alistair black is ready to defend Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the official card for Armageddon. 
that will be this Sunday. But right now, this is your main event. Buddy Murphy is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with one-third of the main event of Armageddon. He will be taking on the one and only Ricochet. And Buddy Murphy, he faced Seth Rollins two weeks ago in a losing effort after a distraction from the Authors of Pain. So Buddy Murphy looks to give himself even more, you know, he's given himself even more of an opportunity. He's going to be taking on one of the hottest commodities in professional wrestling, Ricochet. I mean, Ricochet, he's, you know, at Survivor Series, he challenged Aleister Black in a Hell in a Cell match for the WWE Championship, where he was put through the freaking cell. Where he was put through the freaking cell of the of the top of the roof. He was put through the roof of the cell by Seth Rollins, and he was still able to challenge Ricochet the or Seth Rollins the next night in a Falls Count Anywhere match. Ricochet, he this is gonna be Alistair Black said, this is gonna be the last opportunity these two men have to get the WWE championship. So Alistair Black's got a lot on his plate. So Alistair Black, he's backstage preparing. Alistair Black, you know, kind of studying, giving notes about what his opponents are set to do. Seth Rollins still recuperating with the Authors of Pain after after earlier tonight, as the Authors of Pain defeated the Usos. And I mean, Evolution going after John Cena, you know, that's got to send a message to them. But Ricochet, you can just see now, Ricochet. He is just somebody that nobody would ever say he is going to go places. Nobody has ever said Ricochet is not a healthy competitor. Ricochet is one of the competitors in professional wrestling who is undeniably charismatic and athletic. Ricochet is going to be kicking some ass here tonight. I mean, two of the hottest cruiserweights on Monday Night Raw, Ricochet and Buddy Murphy. Both of these men are going to be facing each other here right now. And no championships are on the line, but this is set to be an amazing main event. Buddy Murphy, former cruiserweight champion. Buddy Murphy, a former... I mean, Ricochet... Ricochet, we all know all of his trademarks, all of his... You know, all of the stuff that we've seen him do in the past. I mean, former NXT North American champion. So, we all know that Ricochet and Buddy Murphy, they are not they are not strangers to one another. But Buddy Murphy, Buddy Murphy already taking Ricochet down. And Ricochet already coming at him a little bit stronger. As Ricochet wrenching that headlock in on Buddy Murphy. And here we go, Buddy Murphy throwing Ricochet right off. As Murphy throws him in, drops him right down, and into a leapfrog. But Barty Murphy comes in with a huge single leg drop kick, beautifully done by the best kept secret. And shoulders are down. Ricochet able to get the kick out. Like I said, Ricochet and Buddy Murphy, these are some of the hottest commodities in professional wrestling. And Ricochet is not going to hold up. He is not going to let down all of his fans. And look at this now Ricochet off of the second rope. Huge moonsault. Ricochet using that moonsault to his advantage, dropping Buddy Murphy down, and drops Buddy Murphy with a huge drop kick. I mean, Ricochet, you cannot deny that Ricochet is not a great competitor. And look at this now, Buddy Murphy off of the ropes with a huge drop kick, turning Ricochet inside out, just gonna give him all that he's got. And here comes Buddy Murphy, lifting up Ricochet into a powerbomb position. But Ricochet, able to roll over Buddy Murphy, and into the pinfall. Shoulders are down, but Buddy Murphy able to roll out of it. Buddy Murphy able to roll out of it. But Ricochet able to get the pinfall, able to get the kick out. And Buddy Murphy with a big boot directly to the head of Ricochet. Murphy, oh wait a minute now, Buddy Murphy lifting up Ricochet for a huge suplex. Good lord, both of these men. They know how to keep an audience entertained, and they know how to kick the opponent's ass in the process. Huge power bomb from Buddy Murphy. Shoulders are down. Ricochet able to get the shoulders up. Buddy Murphy and Ricochet, they're not going to let up. I mean, Buddy Murphy, Buddy Murphy, he has had several opportunities to almost be the Intercontinental Champion. I mean, who can forget the time he was in? He was in the Fatal 4-Way match at Backlash in Season 1. 
then challenging Seth Rollins for the Intercontinental Championship at King of the Ring. And then he was in that Extreme Trials match, one of my favorite matchups at Extreme Rules, where he was the finalist against Tommaso Ciampa. And wait a minute, look at this now, Ricochet, he's gonna fly to the outside! But Buddy Murphy moved right out of the way. Ricochet went face first into the announce table. And like I said, Buddy Murphy, he was a finalist in that Extreme Trials match against Tommaso Ciampa. But Tommaso Ciampa, he gave Buddy Murphy a run for his money. Tommaso Ciampa was able to get the pinfall on Buddy Murphy and pick up the win. And now Buddy Murphy slamming Ricochet down once again. And Tommaso Ciampa, right after he won the Intercontinental Championship, pile drive Buddy Murphy through, was able to pile drive Buddy Murphy through the table in an unsportsmanlike conduct matter, where Tommaso Ciampa was suspended and Buddy Murphy was out for an injury for weeks. Oh, and look at this now, DDT, Ricochet just kips right up. Buddy Murphy was out for months until he returned to help out Sami Zayn and Cole Quinn a couple of months ago. And Ricochet comes in with a huge diving to Enziguri, knocking Buddy Murphy off of his senses. And Buddy Murphy was, uh, he was tangled up with Sanity at one point for the past couple of months. But, you know, Sanity, they were all split apart. Killian Dane, you know, he was sent to ECW. Alexander Wolfe sent to ECW. Baron Corbin. Baron Corbin we have not seen from for a while. And now Eric Young on ECW as well. Jesus, Buddy Murphy just flying out with a tope con Hilo, knocking Ricochet right down. So Buddy Murphy and Ricochet. Ricochet's been tied up in the world championship scene ever since October, ever since season two. And now Buddy Murphy, he's almost like in the same sense, but Ricochet throwing Buddy Murphy off of the top rope with a deadly drive. Ricochet just sends Buddy Murphy down to his back. And now Ricochet looking Buddy Murphy right in the eyes as he drops him down for a front face lock to STO. And now into the pinball, in the position. Referee could have it, but no. Buddy Murphy able to get the kick out. Ricochet now on the offense has Buddy Murphy down to his back. But Ricochet, he's not going to give up. He's going to keep going until Buddy Murphy cannot stand anymore. And Ricochet now, look at this huge springboard uppercut. Knocking Buddy Murphy right down. And now Ricochet. He's. Oh, I was going to say he's got the offense. Buddy Murphy lifts him up. Power bomb. Buddy Murphy drops. Ricochet with a power bomb. And now Buddy Murphy into the pinfall. But Buddy Murphy's just lifting up. Lifting up the head of Ricochet. He's not going to. He's not going to be taken that quickly. But Buddy Murphy. Oh, Buddy Murphy with a huge right hand. And Murphy comes in with a huge knee directly to the face of Ricochet. As now Murphy looks to put away Ricochet here. But Buddy Murphy now just letting just letting Ricochet know he's not going to give up. As Buddy Murphy now lifts up Ricochet for a huge suplex. And now right into the pinfall. Shoulders are down. Ricochet able to get the kick out. Like I said, both of these men are not going to let up. They are both some high class competitors. And Ricochet, he has to prepare for his... WWE Championship match at some at Armageddon this Sunday so Buddy Murphy you know this is almost like a stepping stone for Ricochet and Ricochet now he's on the second rope look at this Ricochet for a Phoenix Splash Ricochet into the pinfall shoulders are down Buddy Murphy could be put away but no Ricochet not gonna put away Buddy Murphy that quickly he got up from the pinfall on his own accord and now Ricochet lifting up Buddy Murphy and now Ricochet top rope what does he have in mind? Ricochet comes in with a huge spinning kick. Huge spinning duty shot from the top rope. And Buddy Murphy, oh, almost got caught with a super kick. But Buddy Murphy comes in. Huge Hurricane Rana sends Ricochet. Sends Ricochet right away. And now Buddy Murphy, oh, knee directly to the gut. And now Ricochet, oh. Ricochet catches Buddy Murphy with a left elbow directly to the face. And now Ricochet throwing Buddy Murphy to the outside. Murphy lands right on his side, and Ricochet, look at this, he's gonna fly, Ricochet, look at that, Ricochet with a huge sopek on Hilo, splashing Buddy Murphy right down, and now Ricochet, throwing Murphy into the ring, he's got Buddy Murphy right into the drop zone, and now Ricochet, getting right back into the ring, oh wait, Murphy, 
It sensed Ricochet was right there. Knee to the face and a huge inverted Hurricane Rana. Huge inverted Hurricane Rana dropping Ricochet right on his head. And now he's going to throw him away. But Ricochet able to roll him over into a sunset flip position. Ricochet rolls right over. And now Ricochet, look at this, has Buddy Murphy. Saito suplex dropping Buddy Murphy right on the back of his head. And now Buddy Murphy, he is just feeling all of the punishment that Ricochet is giving him. Ricochet, huge forearm, slingshot DDT onto the apron. Buddy Murphy just gets dropped with a DDT directly onto that apron, the hardest part of the ring. Murphy's got to have some concussions after that. But now Ricochet, oh, spinning back kick directly to the face and drops down Buddy Murphy with a drop kick. And Ricochet, he is, oh, Ricochet is giving Buddy Murphy all he's got. But both of these men pulling out all the moves in their arsenal. And Murphy throwing away an elbow, throwing an elbow directly to the face. Buddy Murphy lifts up and looks up Ricochet into a Canadian DDT. And now, Buddy Murphy rolling Ricochet into the pinfall. Shoulders are down, but Ricochet gets the shoulders up. Ricochet gets the shoulders up. Buddy Murphy has not put away the one and only. Not that yet. Oh, Ricochet comes in, but Buddy Murphy comes in with those punches. Ricochet throwing Buddy Murphy into the corner. Ricochet. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, this is where Ricochet is most... This is where he's most dangerous, lifting up his opponent on the top rope. What in the hell does Ricochet have in mind? Uh-oh, Ricochet gonna be going for that Spanish fly, but Buddy Murphy counters and just throws him off of the top rope. And now Buddy Murphy, look at this, he's gonna be going back up to the top. What in the hell does he have in mind here? Buddy Murphy, shooting star press from halfway across the ring. Ricochet, he's stuck. Buddy Murphy picks up the win. No, Ricochet gets the shoulder up. Ricochet gets the shoulders up. This match continues, but Ricochet still files on. And Ricochet comes back even harder. And now Ricochet comes in with a huge big boot, but Ricochet just goes face first to the outside. Ricochet face first to the outside. Buddy Murphy, oh wait a minute. Buddy Murphy talking to the referee. But wait a minute, Seth Rollins with it. Oh, where the hell did Seth Rollins come from? Attacking Ricochet with a chair. Buddy Murphy distracting the referee. And now Seth Rollins throwing Ricochet back into the ring. Seth Rollins is gonna get the hell out of here. And now Buddy Murphy, look at this, he's got Ricochet in the position. He could have the win here. And Buddy Murphy picks up the win. Due to an interference from Seth Rollins, Buddy Murphy has picked up the win. And Buddy Murphy has defeated Ricochet. And all due to Seth Rollins. What the audacity that Seth Rollins has to cost him, to cost Ricochet this match. But now Buddy Murphy celebrating in the middle of the ring. I don't even know if he knows what happened. He was distracting the referee. But, oh, wait a minute. There's Aleister Black. Aleister Black and Seth Rollins fighting backstage. Aleister Black comes in even harder with a right hand. Aleister Black and Seth Rollins, they are both just wailing on each other. Seth Rollins, Aleister Black is not happy that Seth Rollins just cost Ricochet his match. And now Aleister Black comes in, throws Seth Rollins right in those barricade or right into those in those equipment boxes. But Seth Rollins and Aleister Black, they are both Oh! They were just both on each other's nerves here tonight. Seth Rollins and Aleister Black attacking each other backstage. This match is over with. Oh! Seth Rollins just just wrenching that trash can over the back of Aleister Black. And now Seth tried to fire away, but Aleister Black comes in with an elbow. Aleister Black comes in even harder, but Seth Rollins, look at this, Seth Rollins, no, no, no! Oh! Skywalker nearly landed on that chair. And Seth Rollins just giving Aleister Black even more punishment than I thought. I mean, Aleister Black, he was just watching the match backstage. He is not happy. And Seth Rollins with the King's Landing! King's Landing from Seth Rollins. But now Seth Rollins... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. I don't like where this is going. Seth Rollins has Aleister Black perched up on that table. Oh, no, no, no. Seth Rollins has the WWE Champion up. Seth Rollins, no! Powerbomb through the table! Seth Rollins telling Aleister Black, this is what... Oh, wait a minute. 
There's Ricochet. Ricochet, he's got a chair. Ricochet's got a chair. I don't even know if Seth Rollins notices. Ricochet's just telling the everybody to get back. But Ricochet, there he is. Ricochet attacking Seth Rollins with a chair. Ricochet must have went through the back way. He is not happy. Ricochet is not happy. Ricochet is going to kick Seth Rollins' ass for what he just did. And now Seth Rollins, look at this. He's coming back. And look at this now. Seth Rollins trying to run away from Ricochet. Ricochet, he may be a little bit faster though as he follows him into the parking lot. Seth Rollins, he almost got caught with that flying clothesline. But Seth Rollins throwing Ricochet against that wall. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no. It looked like, oh, it looked like Seth Rollins tried to go for a dragon suplex onto that concrete. But Ricochet comes in with a super kick. Both of these men arguing backstage. Arguing backstage earlier tonight. But now it's just come to blows. Alistair Black being tended to by our medical staff backstage. But Ricochet and Seth Rollins, they're just both still fighting. We need to get some security back there. I mean, they, they got to break these two up before it gets any more. It's got to be... <laughs> we got to break these guys up before it gets even more hostile. As Seth Rollins comes in with a huge knee directly to the nose. I mean, both of these men have a, have a huge match set for Armageddon this Sunday. But Ricochet... Just throwing Seth Rollins. Just throwing Seth Rollins right away. Throwing him towards our, our equipment. Towards our equipment truck. And now Ricochet. Oh, wait a minute. What is Ricochet thinking here? Ricochet. Look at this. Look at this. Seth Rollins. Ricochet. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus. Ricochet with an inverted Frankensteiner on the concrete. Dropping Seth Rollins down. And Ricochet with a diving foot stomp off the equipment box. Oh, wait a minute. And now Ricochet telling Seth Rollins to get up. I mean, both of these men, they just want to they just want to kill each other. Oh! These two were former friends. But now Seth Rollins costing Ricochet his WWE Championship match at Survivor Series. Ricochet has nothing but hate towards the man he used to call his friend. And where in the hell is Ricochet going? Where is Ricochet going? And look at this now. Seth Rollins is going to follow in pursuit. Seth Rollins gonna follow in pursuit. Oh no, I don't like this. Oh! Both of these men fighting on top of the... Both of these men fighting on the top of the... Oh! Of our equipment. But now, oh! Seth Rollins' right hand. But Ricochet comes back with an even harder right hand. And now Seth Rollins using that elbow. Oh, wait a minute. Seth Rollins, he jumped off. Seth Rollins jumped off. He's trying to avoid Ricochet. And look at this. Ricochet in pursuit. Just almost like a, like a bat out of hell. Just... Throwing him away. Oh! Throwing him into the into the trunk of that oh of that limo. Both of these men giving each other their all. I mean, they still have to meet each other this Sunday at Armageddon, but oh Seth Rollins and Ricochet are both laying waste to each other in the parking lot. Oh! And like I said, we gotta get some security back there before it gets even more hectic. I mean, we've already seen. Seth Rollins and Ricochet just giving each other even more punishment. But Seth Rollins, look at this, just looking at Ricochet. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, no, no. Seth Rollins, King's Landing. Seth Rollins delivers the King's Landing to Ricochet. Oh, wait a minute. He's still not done. Seth Rollins is still not done with Ricochet. Rollins grabbing Ricochet by the head. Oh, no. I don't know what in the hell Seth Rollins has in mind. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Throwing him onto the hood of the car. And Seth Rollins now. Oh, wait a minute. He's just looking at Ricochet. And oh! Face first just slams him. Just slams his head off the hood of the car. And Seth Rollins. Just still giving Ricochet. Oh! Jesus! Just throwing him into the, into the headlight. Seth Rollins just giving Ricochet. Oh, if he wanted him to taste the muffler, he probably has. But now Seth Rollins just tossing Ricochet. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, Seth Rollins throwing Ricochet. Oh, no, no, no. Seth Rollins lifting up Ricochet. Look at this. No, no, no. Powerbomb under the hood of the car.